Hey, this is uh, Josh with Grimco Tech Support. Um, this is just a quick video on some color management in Onyx, uh, particularly getting better grays or more neutral grays uh, consistently. So I've got this file here opened up in Job Editor. Um, it's got some percentages of black uh, grays. Um, so if you, first of all, you look down at the bottom, you see the CMYK interpretation down here for every color. So if I hover over a color, it's going to show me how Onyx is interpreting that color and going to produce that uh, the percentage of K. So remember, these are percentages of K. So this is 70% black. But if you look down there, it's showing a completely different CMYK build. Uh, and that's why a lot of times uh, your grays don't come out neutral. Um, it's trying to interpret the color and mix in that CMYK to kind of create a little bit more body in the color. Um, but sometimes that results in a purplish or greenish uh, black or gray. So for instance, if you look at this one, it says 40% uh, black. It's got almost no black in the actual interpretation of the color. And it's got quite a bit of cyan and magenta and yellow, whereas cyan being the most, so most likely this is gonna come out kind of a more blue gray or kind of greenish gray. Um, ideally the mix is done so that it's gonna look to your eye as kind of a neutral gray, but that that's kind of easier said than done, um, depending on the calibration of the printer, color profiles, all that kind of stuff. So a lot of variables with, with grays and, and color management in general. Um, but one of the things you can do is you can go in here uh, on the first tab here, go in and change profiles. And then next to each one of the input profiles, so for CMYK, it's using US Web Code Swap, and for RGB or ve images or vector, raster or vector, it's using sRGB. Um, so that's what it's using to generate these uh, CMY values for gray versus just using 70% black or whatever it may be. Um, but I can turn that off if I click on these little color squares alongside the, of that file. So this is a CMYK vector file, so I can come in here to this one here and just enable my black slash gray pure hues and then hit OK and then hit OK. Um, you accept the changes? Yes. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit apply to reprocess uh, this image. And so now if you look at it, even though it looks kind of funny on the screen, you can look at it and see that's just 40% black now. So it's actually using the uh, pure hue for that color. So 50% black, 60% black, and so on. More or less 70% black. So this is gonna take all that CMY filler out and just print neutral grays, uh, percentages of black. The kind of downside, especially on the lighter colors, the 10, 20, 30%, and so on, is you're gonna have a lot of white filler. It's just black dots and white space. So kind of sometimes gives you a little bit grainier look but at least it's going to be a completely neutral gray. Um, by the way, this does work to some extent with other grays. Like it's not just K, but it, it's only so smart to where it can determine an RGB gray or CMYK gray out of that. And it's, a lot of times it just doesn't work right. So you're easier, it's easier to, to just do it as a percentage of black in your art and then make sure your pure hues of gray are turned on here. Um, so I can also set this up in a quick set um, just to, so to automate this process. Um, so you can come in here, oops, let's go back here, go into configure printer. Oops, I got a job, I gotta close this out. And then we'll go into configure printer. And we'll make a new quick set under the first tab here. We'll just call it pure grays. Um, you know, usually leave everything pretty much defaulted the way you have it, but we're going to go in and change the profiles. Um, and we're going to come into each one of these CM these images and just turn on our pure hue gray. Okay, so I've turned it on for all CMYK and RGB images and then just hit okay. 
And I can also name this, so it's calling it color management custom now. I could go in here and just save as and call it pure grays here. So now I have a color management strategy in my drop down list that's called pure grays as well. Um, so now I've got a quick set and uh, the color management name for pure grays, and I just hit OK. So now that's in my quick sets list. So when I'm opening a job, I'll wait for my printers to reinitialize. Eventually. There we go. So we'll open a job up. Um, doesn't really matter what we choose here. Let's back out of this stuff here. Uh, we'll open this one up. I'm not sure what it is. But I want to make sure I choose my quick set, Pure Grays. And then that'll automate that process when I open that up. So it's automatically using the original colors. So this this is handy because it's going to convert anything to gray just to percentage of K, but it keeps all my colors uh, interpreting by the input profile, which in most cases you want, especially for things like photographs and stuff like that. So there you have it. Uh, that's how I would make sure that I'm getting a pure hue of, of gray and it's not trying to interpret it to some shade of gray that might come out a little purple or a little green and so on. Um, it's just a small part of color management, but it is a very handy trick to just to easily make sure you're getting a neutral gray. Thanks and hopefully that helps. Bye.